Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with another Carve December. I think this is day four. I did what I said I was going to do in the last recording. I sketched out a couple of things the night before, last night, and came up with two. So I'm one ahead of the game now. <laughs> I decided to do a flower that was really simple so that... I, I didn't have to stress too much over what the content would be. So this was pretty pretty easy. Measured it out with the uh, a circle template and a ruler. And then kind of freehanded the uh, petals to the flower. I'm using the smallest V-shaped tip that I can and I that comes from Speedball. I th oh, no, that's not. That's the power grip. That's the Japanese one. I think it's a little bit smaller than the speedball version of it. Not by much, though. So now I'm just doing the outline of the petals. Trying to go a little bit slower, although this is speeded up to double time. I think when I looked at all the videos together, this took an hour and 15 minutes and... I don't think you have that kind of time in your life to watch me just carve. So I try to whittle it down. Right now I've decided that I'm going to try to do some experimenting here with what the um, stamp looks like. I'm using Red Stays On. I think it's Red Blaze. And I'm pressing that on there. And sadly, it, the ink dries so quickly that it didn't leave a very good impression. And even if I had stamped it off every single time, I still don't think that it would have worked. Because like I said, we're, we're um, kind of dry here right now in Texas. The ceiling fan was not on, but it doesn't take much. So I'm going to coat it with, um, I think it's yellow ochre. Because I wanted the red to stick out. And this is leftover paper from another project. I'm going to get me one of those barons. And when I lift it up, a lot of the paint came off. But I'm kind of disappointed that I couldn't see more of what I was looking for. I should have done it the opposite way. Done the yellow on the bottom and then stamped it and then put red in the background. I lost the footage of me doing the yellow, the companion piece to the red I, I showed, I held it up uh, to show you the red part and then the yellow is on the other side. I don't know where that footage went. I have a feeling I didn't turn the camera on because I did go back and look for it. So I had this random piece of, uh, it's a die cut. So I thought, well, let me do something a little more creative. I'll stamp inside the die cut. Of course it's not square so six of those stamps will not fit inside it so I had to bend the stamp for the last two at the bottom. I kind of bent it up a little bit to get the impression. Now I'm going to take my knife and kind of gingerly peel that thing off. Not a good idea to use a knife on your jelly plate just saying. Then I'm going to squirt some paint on here. Maybe. There we go. I had to get a larger brayer. The little one was just too small. I'm looking for a piece of paper to put it on. <laughs> Found one. I think this is regular copy paper, what I'm using right now. While it did peel up nicely, it still wasn't what I was looking for. I was hoping for something a little bit different. It's not as dark as I thought it would be. But maybe I didn't press down hard enough the first time around with the um, rubber stamp. Thanks for joining me.